What's up, everybody? Noah Kaiser back here for another movie review. Another new release review that just came to DVD uh, maybe a month ago or something like that. Um, yeah. This is Humor Me. Humor Me is all about this uh, once award winning former play writer who's been working on this same play for four years. His wife leaves him. And he moves in with his dad again after his mother's death. And he is forced to basically put this, put his father in what do they describe it as back here? A retirement community. And while in this retirement community place, I. Uh, the son is trying to help these ladies get this show going. So he's helping them get this play slash musical going. Uh, the reason why it's called Humor Me is because his father just tries and turns everything into a humorous uh, event. Like uh, he even told jokes at his wife's funeral. Just because that's how he deals with things. And that's how I deal with things. If things get rough, sometimes I just try and tell jokes. That's just how it goes. I mean, if someone is not having the best day, down in the dumps, a little bit pissed off, I, I try and tell a joke here or there. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it does not. But this man here... He is just distraught about his wife's death, has this new girlfriend, and he just can't do anything except tell jokes. This film is, for the first hour, just, uh, are we going to get to the actual, them trying to make the play? They actually do, um, I'd say the last 28 minutes half hour the last half hour is good I caught myself smiling I enjoyed uh, the actual performance itself um, during his play slash musical called Pompeii which is basically uh, I don't know how to describe it it's just all these old folks, old women singing up there as Chinese women. I mean, it's whatever. It was cute because of the comedy. The last 30 minutes is good. For that, if you can push past it, go ahead and try. But... To be honest with you, I would not ever watch this movie again. It's good for like a one-time watch or leave this on as background noise. Get this from your library. I doubt you'll find this uh, out in stores right now. If you do, I, I wouldn't pick it up unless you find it in, in, in a eventual $5 bin. You might find this at the next Dollar Tree sale because it is a Shout Studios uh, film, they usually get Shout Factory films in, so you might be able to find this one. It's okay. It's just whatever. I'm gonna give Humor Me a C minus. It would have gotten a lower uh, grade slash score if it wasn't for the last half hour, making me smile quite a bit. After his father has his heart attack, things do get better. After the dramatic portion of this story ends. And then we get to the great part. So if you can push past the last 30 minutes is well worth it. But otherwise than that, you don't got to watch this at all. Humor Me gets a C-. minus. What am I reviewing next? I don't know. I don't know. 
However, if you have not seen my past reviews from uh, today, I just made a, a long video in my perspective, which is a 15 minute, close to 16 minute video, reviewing every single film, all three films in this Royal Royal Wedding Collection DVD from Hallmark Channel, with two of them starring Meghan Markle. <clears throat> I also reviewed Falling for Vermont. That was my first view review of today. My first time seeing that one. That one was pretty decent. Uh, and that was a Hallmark Channel movie. The other three I reviewed today, if I remember, that's all of them. I reviewed Deadpool 2, Show Dogs, and Book Club. Uh, my local theater is getting Deadpool 2. Uh, I saw an early screening of that. Um, my local theater is getting Deadpool 2 this weekend along with I Feel Pretty. I don't have a review of I Feel Pretty up yet. So I am going to go and see that again and give you guys my new thoughts on it. Uh, for my second time seeing it, I'm hoping... Let's just wait till the review to see if my opinion has changed on it. Stay tuned for whatever my next video will be. You will see a um, full video of what's coming up this week on my channel.